Hey, this is Torna, and today we got to check out the Dark Hole team over on the arena um, via the test server. So we're going to have our arena buffs, they're going to have their arena buffs, everything like that. Typically, most things are equal. Uh, we usually have gear 15 tunes, max level, um, that have all their tier 4s done and everything like that, that we're versing. However, however, there were some on there that were actually gear 16 that I versed um, and came up against. So we're going to talk about those ones in a little bit, but we're going to go through first. I just want to show quickly them versus Black Order, um, because obviously Black Order was like the original kind of meta for, um, for in the, uh, if we're in the arena, like we originally versed them. Now, one thing that I did note a little bit was that Morgana does have a little bit of trouble being able to remove the, uh, remove the immunity and then removing that immunity away from i believe it was dormammu was the one that i was having the trouble against uh, which was a little bit of a shame but dormammu also gets a lot of resistance per like mystic and everything and given that this team is like a mystic team he's going to be getting resistance from that and everything i believe i actually haven't played as dormammu yet so and i don't plan on for quite a while because i really don't care that much and after watching this i honestly am really curious as to whether many people will care too much about Dormammu because this team it kicks their ass like it kicks his ass it kicks the Eternals ass um, as you can see it's destroying the Black Order the insane amount of tanking like I think one of the characters that a lot of people are underestimating on this team is Wong because Wong just takes hits so well like he is insanely great he's special as well i really um didn't expect it to deal quite as much damage but there was times where i was using it to kind of finish off dormammu um and from almost half health and just kind of completely breaking him down even though dormammu um, has like defense up and stuff at times. Wong completely bypasses that with his special. So you can see there them completely destroying Black Order. So next we're going to verse Infinity Watch. The second previous, um, like the, the most previous straight arena meta, full team arena meta and everything. So you can see that they're going to be able to destroy him. And the good thing here is that we're stopping them from being able to do their triple tap as well, because we're stopping, uh, we're stopping Nebula being able to assist. You can see here, she's going to attack and then no assist from Nebula. Um, uh, Wong also puts out a lot of kind of pings on characters. Like you'll see uh, that every time he gets hit or anyone on his team gets hit, he's going to then ping them and uh, deal a little bit of damage. Actually, I don't think it's if he gets hit. I think it's just if enemies get hit, he doesn't. Uh, sorry, if, you, if your dark old allies get hit, he doesn't. Because I've noticed then he didn't do it then. So here, I could have probably used that like and hit uh, hit Adam Warlock as well. But like, look at how much tanking Wong's doing. He's stunned now, so he's not going to be able to ping back. But he's still fairly tanky. Boom. And then we're going to knock out Phyla first. I think aiming Phyla first is always the right way to go about it. And they also don't have the weakness of uh, the Eternals where they put Taunt onto um, Adam or anything. See, they finally got knocked down. But look at all that barrier that he's got. And I have to say, Morgan's animations, I love them so much. <laughs> I think Morgan's animations, especially her basic animation, her basic animation was like a clear winner to me. I probably could have used that there on someone who had more buffs to deal more damage. But I also found that in certain matchups, um, either you're winning too fast and Doctor Strange isn't getting to use his ults or the other way around, um, everyone's dead by the time he's going to be able to use them. So Wong is like basically dead, but he's just got so much barrier that he's just sticking around purely by sheer willpower, uh, by manipulating Chi or whatever he does. So you can see he's still around. Sucked off the taunt there. Boom, boom. And it's pretty easy from here. Oh, they're basically dead. Like, there's there's nothing that they're going to be able to do <laughs> to survive here. And you can see Wong's still alive. Yes, he's very, very low. He's insanely low. But he's somehow still living. 
So I think that's a, a major thing, is that he's basically like Cull on this team. He's going to live for ages. All right, now versus Eternals. So first up, this one here is... Which one is it first? So this is this is like a, a mini kind of part speed Eternals, I guess. You've got Emma in there. You've got, um, obviously, you've got Zemo, Doom as well. Doom, I found, wasn't too much of a hassle, um, especially even against like the Dormammu teams. Doom wasn't too much of a hassle. And then we've got the Eternals here. All right, so they're coming in with the slow there. Boom. Getting the ability block onto Doom as well just means that he's not going to be able to use his ultimate. I just found that, like, blasting through Doom or blasting through Icarus, both are required. Like, the ultimate here as well, the ultimate from Agatha, just stunning these two, making, like, because it specifically calls out, stun the hero blaster, stun the Cersei, <laughs> the, the hero support, I think it is. Um, and you can see Zemo's already gone. I decided here the other two are stunned. I'll just extend that. Now, one thing is that some people are saying that that extend from Scarlet Witch extends trauma. It does not. She does not extend trauma from what I can gather. And boom. Use the ultimate from Wong here just to taunt because why not? You can see he takes out the Doom clones as well. If the Doom clones happen to attack, he must do it when he does it. He gets, oh, it's when he's ability blocked that he can't. That's right. He doesn't do the ping when he's ability block. All right, there we go. So then another eternal team here. Boom. So this one's basically the same thing. Whoops. So we got a bit of graphical stuff there. There we go. So the ability block here from Zemo is just going to stop us being able to do our pings, unfortunately. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're going to blast through them anyway. Um, having safeguard at the start there means that we're not going out, but getting our buffs flipped by um, Icarus. Boom. We just extend out. Why not? Now, as for Scarlet Witch, she's not insanely great on the team. She's not doing a whole lot, but because of the buff extend to us, uh, the debuff extend to start with, like extending those stuns is great. Um, and also just that health balancing. I found that health balancing at times was really great for being able to kind of completely balance everything out and make sure that you're not kind of dying very easily. And you can see here, we beat them in a minute. Eternal's beaten in a minute. And now for the one you've probably all come waiting for, Dormammu. Uh, obviously, Dormammu is the current, like, very, very top arena meta. And you're going to be most likely seeing him alongside the Eternals here. This one's got Omega Red and Doom as the fifths here. So I'm going to start with the ultimate here, making sure that I get that ability block out. You can see here ability block, um, now ability block over here as well. And we've got the disrupt and slow onto Icarus there and a whole lot of debuffs as well onto, uh, onto here. Now I did try because obviously with this ability, it removes safeguard. I tried using it on Dormammu, but I found that his resistances were just too high. It wasn't worth using it on him because 95% of the time, I, I mean, I, I'm even willing to say hundred percent of the time he uh, resisted it because he's just got insane resistance. So I decided to aim everyone else. However, then you've got the special here from, um, Special here from Strange Supreme, which he is able to remove it. I found that that special was able to remove it there. Um, I think it's just because he gets that extra 500% focus. So I use that onto Dormammu. All right. Now I'm going to use the special here just to get, make sure that I get that slow onto him. Uh, you can see here, this is going to remove that. I was trying to get the other debuffs because with Agatha, if you use her special... Um, you can actually get like a triple tap if you manage to bypass their attacks and be able to get a slow, an ability block, and a stun. So I was really hoping to be able to do that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, but I did manage to get a triple, uh, double tap onto him. So he's got a lot of vulnerables here. So then I use the ultimate. Now, unfortunately, he's going to immediately go into stealth as soon as he gets dropped below 50%. All right, now it's Wong's turn. I 
wasn't sure if I wanted to use the special here or the ultimate, but I decided on the ultimate, get rid of those debuffs and just be able to kill Doom. Because I found that sometimes Doom would cause issues with his ultimate, but other times not. And there. So we managed to get Doom down and Doom is out of the way. So Morgan sucking off Doom sounds about right. Uh, we're going to use the basic here. I found that most of the time, once Dormammu's in stealth, you're just kind of killing him with splash damage. Like, just trying to splash him down with the other characters. Boom, there. We got the stun again. Health balance. I did that mostly just so that way I had the, uh, the deflex and stuff and the defense up, just to make sure that I had them ready for when I knew Icarus was going to be going soon. Boom, use the special there. Look at how much damage. Th I just want to show that again. So here, this is basically half health, no defense down or anything like that. And boom, boom, boom. He just straight out kills him. And now I'm using this on Icarus, so that way I get the most damage possible. There we go. Use the special here. Unfortunately, he'll resist the debuffs. The most annoying thing about Dormammu I found is if you don't kill him from splash damage, he'll get to use his abilities, but also just because he gives the revives and the revives are annoying. Boom, Icarus comes back again. Wong's just kind of sitting there. The debuffs as well from Scarlet, which is basic, are great. Like, just chucking out defense down constantly. I do find that Scarlet Witch was great on this. Now, unfortunately, I can't test them with Dormammu. They don't let us test with Dormammu because uh, certain people weren't happy if other people got to play with Dormammu, so we didn't get to do that. But we, like, even testing the full team, I... I don't know if Dormammu is a better fifth. I assume that he probably is, um, just purely because, you know, the extra revives and everything like that. But I don't know. I am incredibly happy with this team. I think that this team definitely lives up to being an apex like team here um, for the for the arena. I'd, I am very happy with them. Um especially all together. Now, I did put uh, Agatha here next to Scarlet Witch and Strange because Strange has insane amount of damage, so I wanted to get his uh, assist with her basic, but also Scarlet Witch chucking out those debuffs. I found, I think that that was the best call. You could potentially try uh, try Morgana next to one of them. And yes, I'm going to keep calling her Morgana, so if you have issues with that, um, please kindly just don't care. Um, but I, I found that kind of getting the debuffs from Scar Witch was really great. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.